In this video, we are going to create an AI astrologer, agentic astrologer, which we can type to and it will respond to you and make it live so that you can ship it to your clients very, very easily through a unique link like this. So all you have to do is copy this uh, details, give the name of the details, Rahul Saxena, 15 Jan, so and so, so and so, the details, and then it will give you some uh, information about it. You can start by simply saying hi also and it is going to ask you what details do you need to give right to be able to provide this and it will tell you uh, accordingly so you give all the details right and then it is going to give you a accurate report about the the report about this particular person so it's going to give you the details personal insights and you can read about all of this part of it and then ask more questions how about my job growth enter and if i say something like this it should go ahead look at it and then be able to respond based on that and all this is live i can share this link and it will be work so it's giving all this information and um, it's working so with that with this particular part of it let's get straight into executing this and how are we going to make this possible okay so to make this possible, first things first, you need to be able to host your N810 application through Cloudbean. So you can create your account through Cloudbean. It is a managed cloud infrastructure. You can build, deploy AI agents very, very fast. So you can go ahead, go to Cloudbean, go to the server section or just say add server. Okay, choose the application which is N810 application, select your server which is Mumbai, give an application a name, choose the tier, this one, this one or this one, uh, depending on which country you are in, it will it will show based on this, I'm in India, so it's showing in INR and uh, this should be roughly around $8, uh, 24 and this should be around $24, this should be, you know, somewhere, uh, I don't know, uh, depending on the currency right so you select your uh, server uh, and select the provider say launch now and you should have your server like this with uh, n810 application available here and you can click here uh, this is a url link that will happen you will you, you will create your own url link and i have created another video of this on how to set the account up so you can go ahead and look at that but i want to straight away go into this particular part of it that is like this and be able to create this uh, AI agent from scratch. So let's that dive into creating this uh, particular AI agent from scratch. And let me go back and do that. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna go to YouTube and I'm gonna say create workflow. And this is where we'll start the entire process. Now, if you're new to NA10, NA10 has these nodes which are logo, it's are like Lego blocks, right? So you can attach the nodes and we need few uh, nodes to be able to do that okay and by the way if you're new to my channel please uh, consider subscribing to my channel i am kunal Naik. Uh, i'm founder of data science masterminds and i help you create ai agents um, learn ai agents and create ai agents for your businesses uh, be it hr marketing sales and um, any other uh, functions that you are i, I help you uh, create efficiencies using ai agents so back to the first step what the first step that we need is an interface where we can give an input to the AI agent, right? Such as this one. So what we're going to do is you want to click on this plus icon here and I'm going to say on chat message. Now, typically, AI agents need some place, some method to be uh, getting triggered on. Right? So I'm going to choose on chat message and it's that simple. Go back to the canvas. I'm just going to say here, hi, and uh, that's it. We are able to now give some input to the AI agent. But where will this information go? This information has to go to an AI agent. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click on this plus button here. I'm going to click on AI here and this AI agent here. And then I'm going to click on back to canvas here. So, so far now there is a chat note that we have and we have an AI agent. Now it is not yet working, but it will work uh, if if you provided the right uh, steps and the brain, right? So we have a chat model. We can, if you can provide it a brain, it will be operating. Uh, a memory to uh, you know to remember the chats and any tools if you want to give it right but what we're going to do right now is um, you know first provide the memory that is the 
model here right so to be able to do that what you're going to do is you're going to click on chat model here and i'm going to click on google gemini chat model here now i already have my key but in case you want a key you can go to google uh you know you can google google gemini api key right and you should go to this particular link here okay go here and it should be able to take you to the step where you can get uh, a gemini key so you can click on this one it'll get it will get you to the studio here right so you can click on get gemini key here or you can go to the dashboard and then say create api key and uh, you know uh, you can select the project here you should be able to create an api key and uh, you know you, you'll have some api key like this okay so you can copy that and come back here and then uh, just say create credential plug in the api key and you should be able to have your own um, gemini key available here so i already have mine so i'm going to select that one here and ensure that you select the 2.0 model here flash model or 2.5 model which is which is uh, enough okay so once you select the model now um now if you say hi right uh, the ai agent will respond to you so it says hi uh, you know it says i said hi uh and uh, this guy says how, how how can i help you today right so this brain is working so do not move forward uh without doing this step or else you will get into trouble or errors and you don't know where the error is going to uh, happen and the next step is now this ai agent does not yet know that it is a um, astrology agent so to create an astrology agent prompt we need we need a system prompt right so we need to tell that it is a astrology ai agent so I can double click on this i can click here and i can call this an astrology ai agent first first of all i'm giving it a name right and i need to now give a system prompt right to make it uh, behave as an astrology ai right so the trick here is that like it can be anybody you want it to be but you want this particular agent to be uh, astrology agent so we need to uh, create a system prompt that will allow this astrology agent to work like that okay so for example now if i go back to canvas and go to this chat and if i you know uh, give it some details such as this right travel saxena uh, okay okay i have your this particular thing anything specific you want me to do it does not know what to do right and plus uh, you know uh, who am i right so if i just say who am i it will not even remember right uh, that i have just given the rahul saxena name here also right so to be able to do that we need to first of all you know ensure that we have give, we give it a simple memory like this a simple memory is like basically it keeps tracks of all the chat that you do right so basically i can just say i am rahul saxena uh, saxena right and um, if i say that um, okay rahul how can i help you i can just say who am i and now before i gave the name right it was not able to remember right you are rahul saxena now it remembers it because right now i just told it and that's because now we added this memory and you can see that two times it has stored this conversation here, right so now we have a functional agent but this the prompt is not yet ready so we're going to use a prompt to create a prompt for ai agent and i can go into chat gpt i can and i have i have placed uh, the the prompt for this within the within the workflow that i've created so you can download it i'll put it there it will be on a github link so that you can download it or a google drive link uh, so the, here's the prompt right so this is the prompt that we're going to be using with chat gpt so i'm just going to go to this chat gpt paste it here and then what it is going to do it's it's going to give a structured prompt to be able to uh you know yeah, the the give me give me the output okay uh now it says uh, hi there it's yeah we don't want that uh you know i'm just saying create an ai agent prompt right so it should be create an ai agent prompt let me just do that again uh let me paste it again here copy paste it and let's see now it should be able to create it ok 
okay so that's it so i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to go here and i'm just going to paste it in the simple prompt like this okay so now once it's done i go back here now the ai agent should be ready if i just say let's say hi right uh, okay and this should be good i can say what can you do and if i say enter okay for some reason it doesn't want to listen to me right now okay let me do this uh, i'm going to clear everything here I want to ensure that everything is cleared i'm just going to save it sometimes if it is not giving you can just save it go back out come back in here and let's see if the prompt is available there yeah so let me just try it again say hi yeah now it is ready right sometimes if it is not ready uh, just ensure that you refresh it and you you be able to do that right so provide your full name and all that so i'm going to go back to the details here so copy this one right and and then just paste it here like this now it should go ahead and then execute it and then provide this information right so it will give you all this outlook that is available that is because of the prompt now once the prompt is ready right all we now need is this kind of an interface where the agent can operate independently so to create that it's very very simple all you have to do is double click here come here and say make chat publicly available and you will have this link you can simply just click on this link right go to a new tab and paste it and it will not work the reason it's not working is this entire flow is not live so you can just save this make it live like this okay and now if i go ahead and refresh this chat it is available however there are some little touches that are available that that you can change so to make this change all i'm going to do is double click here and you know i'm just going to say hey i am an ai astrologer right and i can add basically the subtitle the title ai astrologer and you can give your branding name and all that details here and in case you want to you know uh, have some custom styling you can do that response mode load previous sessions input place order uh mind types allowed file uh, file uploads all of that is possible to do that right and in case you want it within a like a application you can do some authentication also so that uh, this will work accordingly right so now it's publicly available right i can just save this and now this chat is ready if i can just refresh this you see that i am an ai astrologer ai astrologer that's good i can just simply say hi again here and this time i'm going to take the details again paste it here and let's see what kind of report it is doing yeah this is uh, let's see again yeah uh we'll say about career okay rahul give me an analyze okay so in correct date and time it is not able to do that sometimes this error happens so we're going to go back here and i'm just going to go to expression and ensure that this now variable is active so do not forget to click on this expressions or else uh, sometimes uh, it will give you weird out okay so i'm just going to go back here save it refresh this again and i'm just going to try it once more say hi okay copy these details again yeah i want to to know about my career and i'm say enter and it is going to give you an entire report this is all the details that is it is giving you okay so that's how you basically create your astrology chatbot share it with your customers and work with it make sure that you rename uh, you know your your chatbot astrologer right and then your chatbot is ready which you can deploy now uh, to take it further you can also ensure that uh, you have this entire agent you know be operating from a point of uh, what you say whatsapp right so basically what you can do is uh, you can add like a whatsapp business node right to so send a message 
right? And uh, you can see like this, you can send it from a WhatsApp also, okay? Or you can do it through a Telegram, right? So you can change this node, even you can change the brain, you can change anything that you want from this and be able to make that. And, and that's how flexible it is and that's how easy you can make a chatbot. Uh, it's even much more easier to do it, right? So let me know if you are able to make this, if you have any questions, doubt, mention that in the comment section. And if you want me to make something more like this, please let me know and I will make those kind of ideas and deploy it on the YouTube channel. But uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this one. Share what kind of use cases you're working in the comment section. I would love to hear from you also. Thank you for watching this one. And do not forget to subscribe to Cloudbean and host it and deploy it so that your customers get access, live access to it and it's not just living in your PC. Okay, so thank you. I'll see you in the next one.